What's up guys, back here Atlas Empires, and let's talk about shields on your base. You may have noticed these guys, when you log in, someone has attacked you, and then your base gets a shield. But you still get attacked later that day. What's going on? Well, it's very simple actually. Uh, we've got word from the developer how the shield works. So, the shield works when someone attacks your base, and they get at least one star on your base. When they do a one star attack on your base, you check out your attacks in your inbox, that one star attack will generate a three hour shield of protection. It will not go away when you attack somebody, so you're protected for three hours if somebody attacks your base and they get one star on it. If they attack your base and get two stars on your base, you are then given a nine hour shield of protection. If, like this replay here that we are watching, they attack your base and get three stars, you are then given a 16 hour shield of protection. There's no other way to currently get a shield in the game. You cannot buy a shield or protect your base any other way. So you can get attacked multiple times in the day. You do want to make your base as defendable as possible to keep your loot. You can see in this replay here, it looks like we lost about 50,000 gold and about 5,000 stone and about 13,000 wood. So, you know, we lost a good chunk of resources here. The attackers definitely did a good job smashing through the base. It does look like we killed a couple uh, a couple dragons, maybe. So, overall, that's, that's decent. At least we caused some casualties there. I touched upon this in another video, but as of now, I feel like the offense is a little bit too strong, and the defenses just can't keep up. It'll only get worse, too, once you get to Great Hall level 14, and you unlock a third barracks, and you get more troop capacity. But as of now, most people only have two barracks, and they have probably around like 60 or 70 troop capacity. And you can see you're, you're able to kill most bases pretty easily. You're definitely able to get 50% on most bases, so a one-star victory. Because there's also just too many just bleh, structures, like the houses, the storage, lumber storage, stone storage, things like that. Like those things are just buildings and you don't really want to protect them because there's nothing there. Like especially the houses, like these right here, the house buildings, uh, there's no real reason to protect them because they don't give any resources or anything like that. But they do count against you for that 50% clear on your base. So you do have a lot of walls to work with. We'll have to figure out some strategies that maybe utilize the walls a little bit better to work on defenses. Uh, but yeah, as of now, I feel like offensive is definitely the favored. And you can definitely win most bases, if not all bases, uh, with some troops, troop sacrifice and spells. So spells play a huge part of it. Being able to drop down, you know, three or four free spells in one battle is a huge, huge power boost. Uh, especially if you have a base that has all the defenses kind of clumped up together. So, for example, in this base right here, if they drop a free spell up in this corner right here, so you have this four defensive structures that can be locked down for, like, I think it's five seconds on the free spell. That's a pretty big... Actually, there's five because you got the sentry right there. That's a pretty big defense chunk taken out of the base. Same thing down here. These defenses are clumped up as well. So you drop down a free spell and you can lock out three defensive structures right there. Uh, over here, you can probably get maybe four, maybe five if it's perfect in this area, dropping it kind of like right on the Great Hall. Uh, but yeah, there's just not enough defensive structures currently, I think, in the game. And then the offensive troops are just a little bit too strong. Anyway, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. That's all about the shields. If you have any other questions, comments, post them down below. Love to hear from you guys. Also, suggestions. Suggestions for the games. I know the devs team is actively looking and watching uh, videos and things. So post them down below.